Tonight we are continuing coverage of a cross burning incident that could force two people out of their home. Now back in November, Alexis Hartnett and Warden Butler were arrested and charged with harassment for allegedly burning a cross in their yard. The accused are accused of targeting their black neighbors, Monica and Sean Williams. The two were also accused of yelling racial slurs during their arrest. Now in December, the FBI searched Hartnett and Butler's home on Corbett Drive. They didn't share many details about that investigation, that part of it, but did say it's related to an ongoing civil rights investigation. Now, in January, 15th Circuit Solicitor Jimmy Richardson asked the Horry County Court to declare the Corbett Drive home a public nuisance. It was paired with a temporary restraining order that would remove the couple from the home. And that hearing happened today. ABC 15's Emma Parkhouse is joining us. She is live in the studio with the breakdown of what happened in court. And what Janet Butler, the owner of the Conway home, testified under oath. Emma. Jen Connor, today's virtual court was in session for about two and a half hours. Legal counsel for victims Monica and Sean Williams and the defendants were all present alongside several witnesses. Monica Williams and neighbor Laura Beth Adams testified about incidents over the past several years involving Hartnett and Butler. Then Horry County Police Captain Danny Fur was also called on. Fur says that his department cannot continue using their resources for Hartnett and Butler. Believes that calls to the home will continue if they're not removed from it. According to Hartnett's lawyer, Michael Wells, Alexis Hartnett has moved out of the home on Corbett Drive and is now living with her parents with no plans of moving back. Hartnett is under house arrest for a March 8th indecent exposure charge. As for Warden Butler, it's unclear where he's staying. His mother, Janet Butler, who owns the home on Corbett Drive, was put on the stand for the first time today. She says that he's currently not staying there. She says the home on Corbett Drive is where her son grew up and Alexis Hartnett moved in about four years ago when the couple started dating. Janet Butler says that her son is diagnosed with bipolar disorder and suffered intense head trauma when he was in high school, at one point describing him as, quote, mentally disabled. She says that she knows Hartnett also has mental illnesses, but isn't sure what exactly. Butler making incriminating statements about her son while being questioned on the stand today, saying she knew he burned the cross in the yard and they spoke about it after. Have you conveyed to him that that is unacceptable? He cried and said, I didn't know how bad it was for me, Mom. I knew I should not have done it, and I'm sorry, and I would never do anything like that again. Will you permit process burning on your property? Never. If that were to happen in the future, how? what kind of action would you take as a, as a landlord? If I was a landlord, I would evict the person that was there. Now, is that including Warden? Warden is not attended. He's my son. She says the recent behavior by the couple was provoked because they don't get along with their neighbors, the Williams. But she also gave contradicting testimony, saying that she didn't know anything about the Williams at all. Today, police and Monica Williams said they've reached out to Janet Butler multiple times about the ongoing issues with her son and Alexis Hartnett, but she's never responded or cooperated. She claims that's not true and no one has ever reached out to her, but she is willing to work with law enforcement, insisting they're only hearing one side of this story. Is it your belief that Warden understood the severity of what he was doing at the time? No. Did Warden grow up in a racist household? Absolutely not. Are you a racist, Ms. Butler? No, sir, I am not a racist. Do you have any problem owning property behind it beside African-American neighbors? Not at all. Janet Butler further describing these conditions of the property like the trenches and ditches dug up by her son as landscaping and gardening and their lawyer supporting Janet Butler's claims arguing the home should be left alone because the couple will no longer be a problem. While cross burning is not an illegality per se in South Carolina, my client has testified she won't allow it. She won't allow it, Judge. That means they are prohibited from further doing what they the, the complainants complain about. There is no nuisance. The nuisance, Your Honor, has been abated. Now, the prosecution has asked Judge William Seals to remove the tenants, Warden and Butler, from the home and have police place barriers and tape along the windows and the door, along with a notice stating that the property has been condemned. Jen. Emma, thank you. A final ruling is expected by 5 p.m. tomorrow. We'll certainly let you know what they decide.